Hey, good morning, Seattle Baptist Church. Thanks for tuning in to the day-by-day -day encouragement video. Hope to be a blessing to you today as you guys are a blessing to us. You know, today we're in day number two of the shelter-in-place order right here in Washington State, and uh, this is hard. Uh, you know, this has affected all of us, um, certainly socially, as we can't get out and see our friends like we normally do and uh, spend time with those close ones and loved ones. And then economically, this is affecting many as we're seeing businesses close and folks laid off. Um, emotionally, uh, people are kind of losing their mind. They're getting a little crazy in the house. And then certainly spiritually, this affects uh, many people. And I just pray that God's grace is sufficient for you right now uh, during this time and that you would grow spiritually, uh, but not decrease spiritually. And you know, really the Lord's given us an opportunity right now to, to minister and to be light uh, in this world that so desperately needs Christ. Uh, the world's response uh, to this pandemic is fear and worry and anxiety and anger and um, doubt. And uh, they just don't know what to do. But uh, we have uh, this time in history uh, to respond differently. Uh, to be the light that Christ has called us to be. And I just want to encourage us uh, that right now, uh, as we're at home and uh, we can't do as much as we normally do, uh, to, to not be glued to the internet as the tug is to be glued to the internet and in front of the TV, uh, but to maximize this time uh, any way possible to influence people for Jesus Christ. And I just want to use God's word this morning uh, which I have right here, along with uh, a wonderful cup of coffee that helps me wake up in the morning and get started like most of you. Uh, but I want to use this word uh, to help us this morning to remind us of how uniquely different we are. Uh, Paul's epistle to the church at Colossae, chapter 2, verse 6, the Bible says this, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, established in the faith as ye have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving you know at a time like this i think about how our faith can really be tried it can really be tested and many could be removed you know here in washington state we get uh, these wind storms uh, that come just randomly during the year and i remember the first time i experienced one i thought it was really cool uh, as I watched trees sway back and forth and uh, I heard the wind howl uh, inside my home and I kind of liked it, kind of felt cozy. And I kind of wanted to start a fire and just kind of relax on the inside. But it's when we lose power that we're not so fond of the windstorm and we can't charge our phones, we can't turn the TV on, we can't turn the microwave on to heat something up and we just anticipate for the power to come back on. You know, uh, many trees fall over during this time. You know, uh, on power lines, that's why we lose the power in the first place. They fall over in homes. We hear stories about that. Cars in people's yards. But there is a tree here in Washington State. It's an oak tree. It's very, it's very uh, uh, abnormal here. There's not many here, but uh, an oak tree doesn't move when there's a windstorm. It stays right in place. It stays firm. It doesn't fall over. You see, the first four to five years of its life, uh, before it grows on the outside, all of its energy is expended in the root system so that when the natural disasters come or the high winds come, whatever it may be, that oak tree is not going anywhere. It's staying right where it's been planted. And I just want to encourage us this morning to be rooted in Christ, to be planted in Him by faith through His Word, so that when the outside world and the external winds blow upon us and on us, that we're not shaken, we're not removed, but we're standing. We're standing because we're planted and rooted in Jesus Christ. God bless you today. Appreciate your time here this morning, and we'll see you next time.